Why should tribal children be educated? Think about this. Alampali is a deeply backward, inaccessible village located deep in the forests of Kabul, a tiger reserve in the Adilabad district of Telangana, India. It is inhabited by tribals who live in small hamlets also known as tandas or gudams. The socio-economic condition of people living in these areas is dismal due to lack of proper education. Children work to earn money and the tribals live in dire poverty. They lack basic amenities such as toilets, sewage and access to clean drinking water. The Jir Gurukulam school at Alampali was established in 2004, followed by one at Birsai Peta in 2005. The schools provide free education to hundreds of tribal kids, most of whom stay at the school premises. I was fortunate to be an intern at this magical place, and it truly was magical. The students' daily routines are filled with variety to ensure that each student finds their calling and is exposed to positivity throughout their day. It includes yoga, prayer and assembly, academic classes, Vishnu Sahasranama Pranayama and Bhajans, indoor and outdoor sports, extracurricular activities, and e-learning. Additionally, the students were able to get rid of their bad habits and were provided with clean drinking water and taught about hygiene. Prior to visiting Alambandi, I never really thought about the specific effects any volunteering activities I participated in had. I knew that they were for a good cause, that they would help impoverished students somewhere worlds away, but never pondered on the actual impact that they had. The internship showed me the other side of VT Seva, the driving factor for all our volunteers to keep doing what we do. Every day brought a refreshing sense of joy, a kind of joy that I had never experienced before. For that period of time, I didn't think about anything that was going on outside. My fellow interns and I didn't want to or even feel the need to check our phones because we were having the adventure of a lifetime. The pure smiles on the tribal students' faces humbled us and reminded me of the true unmatchable joy that service brings. It fueled my sense of purpose and bolstered my resolve to help change these children's lives. Here's a letter written by Arvind, an 8th grade student from the class that I taught. He aspired to become a doctor when he grew up. With the blessings of Shri 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 Tridandi Chinna Sriman Narayana Ramanuja Chinna Jir Swamiji, our honorable guest Sriman Shri Prabhakar Sir, Shantaram Swamiji, and my American brothers and sisters, I wish you all a very good morning. My name is L. Arvind. I'm studying in the 8th class. My ambition is to become a doctor. So many poor villages are suffering from diseases in villages without hospitals. Because of the variety of diseases, many people are dying. I have to help them and treat them and will try my very best to become a doctor. I want to build a hospital to treat poor people freely. Just like Arvind, all the other students had goals when it came to what they wanted to be when they grew up. Some of them wanted to be collectors, some of them wanted to be engineers, and a lot of them wanted to join the army. Although me and my fellow interns hoped to inspire them when we went there, they were the ones who ended up inspiring us. These were kids, kids with one lamp in their huts, and the resolve to make a difference for their village and country. And they filled every minute with everything they could to be the best version of themselves. Like Rudyard Kipling puts it in his poem, If, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run. And which is more? And which is more? And which is more? And which is more? You will be a man. You will be a man. You will be a man. You will be a girl, my child. Today, these students excel in academics and sports and are the driving force of transformation in the area. Seeing a remote village like Alampalli in real life helped me resonate with Viti Seva's events even more as now I'd seen exactly where they were going. 
To Chimichir Swamiji's grace and the passionate service of many volunteers, VT Seva was able to change the lives of countless people in impoverished communities, and I truly believe that in the future we can create an even greater impact. My name is Ron of Avir, and I'm a youth volunteer for VT Seva. Come, let's make a difference.